Beautiful. That is my personal best right there. Right here, grab me camera. Woohoo! Check that out. Good fighting fish, that one. What is up, legends? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all feeling fantastic. Today is a solo mission, and I'm just so keen to show you guys around and what I'm about to get up to. Click that subscribe button, it's 100% free. Now, check this out, man. Oh, check this scenery out, man. Insane. Crazy. All right, so it is solo. I do have to be careful. Bit of a rock climb. Anyway, I'm gonna spend one night out here. I've gotta find some dinner. Got my gas cooker. I did bring, I'm um, not gonna lie, a bit of noodles and baked beans just in case. Something to keep me warm. But uh, if I catch a decent fish, I'll cook it up. Now there's one beach here. Not beach no more, really. The tide is up so high. And then there's another one a bit smaller up a bit further. No going anywhere where it's too extreme as I'm by myself. Other than that, legends, stick around, stay tuned. It's gonna be an epic video, a bunch of fishing. I only got lures. Uh, let's just see how we go. So punch it out there, drop this heavy bag off. And yeah, check that out, man. Insane. This is by far my favorite, my favorite uh, spot. That I've been to so far. I've been here once before. This time last year, there was big salmon out here just off those rocks. Like I'm talking three kilo salmon. So we're going to see if we can get them again. Anyway, I'm going to put this camera down because it's a bit extreme. Like far out. Check that drop. All right. Even if this beach is good, I could even stay here and just fish off these rocks here. But although I do want to get to that next beach, we'll see how we go because there's a bit of uh, climbing, rock climbing to do. Other than that, man, I am stoked. See, so this here is the first beach you reach to. So usually the tide is like out there. So it did come up pretty high last night. I didn't even check the swell, whoops. But we could always camp right up the top there if I can't get across to the other one. Um, Cause I like to fish off just that point out there. Uh, would be ideal. Okay. Well, welcome back to the uh, Catch and Moments channel, eh? We've got to reach those rocks. You can see as the big wave goes out, it's definitely doable if I'm quick enough. Now, those rocks are wet already, so they might be a bit slippery. I reckon I could run this if I time it right. I might even get you guys on the head mount just in case something happens because I won't have enough hands to grab what I can grab real quick. So, I might chuck you guys in the head and uh, let's do this run, eh? Because I don't really want to stay here, to be honest. I want to go a bit further. It was too quick. All right, let's time this waves. Look how high they come up. Let's time these properly and see if we can do it. See right now, could run for it. Big wave coming. So once that big wave comes in, you get your lowest wave going out. If you know what I mean. That's a big one. That's a big one. So now it's the go to run. Oh man, just wet my shoes. <coughs> Made it. <laughs> But I just stepped in so much water. All right. I am getting soaked here. Woohoo! Made it. All right. I made that. I don't know how I'm going to get back if that tide's coming up high tomorrow. But for all that I'm wet, I've got to start a fire or something. And uh, try to dry these shoes. Now, I remember this bit from last time. It's been about the same tide as well. So see how it goes out. I've got enough room just to run up there. And then I've got to climb that one cliff there. I was hoping that was a bit further up where I didn't have to do that. But I guess I do. 
but I'll definitely start the next beach if it's possible. I'm not going any further. So I'm going to time this and uh, do a runner because this water comes all the way up here. Beautiful. And up here should be good. All right, made it. Now I could possibly camp up here. There's a nice flat spot. And then I could fish down here. We'll see how we go. Well, I've got to climb that. Because I don't think there's any other way. Not as bad as I thought, but I made it. Oh, I thought it was flatter than this. Could possibly camp there if I needed. Oh yeah, check this out. Beautiful water, clear as. Definitely fish, man. It's gonna be a great fishing trip. So let's head down this way, and then there's a beach just there, around this corner. Whew, gotta catch my breath. All right, so this is that beach. Not really a beach, is it? bugger nice spot up there but don't know how high this tide's gonna come might have to sleep bag it in here in the cliff somewhere because i do have a tent in case it rains tonight just for all the camera gear all right so found the perfect spot nice little flat spot here i'll be able to get the tent on there and uh, smooth that out a bit just enough room just for a sleeping bag really inside that tent um, yeah, this is perfect. Real high up off the water. Check that view when I wake up. And I can easily climb down. It's just like a staircase. Calm down. I've got this whole bank to fish lures. Nice butterfly just there. Lures. Get some bait in if I want. Um, nice dry spot up here. Sweet. All right, this is going to be me for the night. Straight out there, man. far out and get that out heaps far i'll just let it sink for a bit because it gets deep so quick here give it a nice little jerk up and then start a reeling in and then bang bang i think i'm on man that was a good hit i think I'm, i don't know if i'm on i think i'm on. yeah i'm on something small i think on something There you go. That's a Tommy there. I'm going to keep him for lunch. Or, yeah, lunch or dinner, whatever you want to call it. He's a perfect size for a lunch there. Plus, honestly, I like Tommy's a little bit more than uh, salmon, the taste. So, we're going to keep him. That's a perfect one. Beautiful. We're going to cook him for later. Yeah, we got some lunch. Uh, a bit of Tommy's, some baked beans. If I don't get anything else in the next half hour, I'll go cook up lunch because I can always cook up stuff for dinner too. But I definitely want to spend a good couple of hours out here fishing, just trying to catch some PBs. These things are bloody awesome. Bought my first one finally because I do a bit of these hikes now and sometimes you just can't make a fire. There's nothing really to burn. Oh, I can't really carry around that massive burner I've got for camping, so purchased me first one. Gonna test it out. Got a bit of baked beans, gonna warm that up. Even comes with a pot, man, how cool is that? So we're gonna give it a shot, see if it's non-stick, I'm not too sure. Bit of baked beans, I'm bleeding that fish over there. And then we'll get some fillets out of it, fry her up. Yeah, and that's gonna be MP for lunch. Then we get back to fishing, get up for dinner. And then I reckon start setting up after that, so nice relaxing day. Good spot to fish too. They just they gotta come in, they gotta know I'm here. Alright, so there's my little tiny fillets. Just enough for me lunch. Gonna get this bass gas burner going.
Let that get hot. I can turn this right up. down a bit. Man, this works awesome. Gets the heat there so quick. Cut it up a bit. Get that on there. And then this fish is gonna go in there. Look at that. Mix that up a bit. Oh, I've got a cool little handle there. Fish baked beans. <laughs> Tastes pretty good. I'm gonna go sit on this corner here, watch that sun. Not going down yet, but maybe I'll keep an eye out, see if there's any movement, any fish coming along. Finish this off, get me some energy, and then I'll rig up again and go for another flick. So, get something for dinner tonight. Maybe something big where I can have a nice fish meal. Maybe even get a squid jig out there, see if I can get a squid. Man, that would be awesome. So, I'm going to hang out out here and just finish this off. Check that out, man. Energy, energy right there. Lads, lads, I've just had the biggest take ever. I've just hooked up to something. Not sure what it is yet. It should have been recorded, man. Changed that lure and I just got smoked. Whoa, massive snook, man. Slimy bugger, that is my personal best right there. I'm gonna grab my camera. Check that out, nice, nice lure. Deep diver, got it down deep. I should have brought flies, man. This is gonna be dangerous. That's a good fish, man. 70 cent centimeter snook off the rocks. Check that out, personal best. That's a whopper fish, man. All right, lads, beautiful fish. I'm gonna get him in the drink real quick. Can't keep him, got no esky. Too much food for tonight, so I will keep fishing. Off he goes, that was beautiful release. Oh man, I hope that sun's not. I might have to put you guys on the side there. I'm gonna give this a couple more casts. It's coming on at four o'clock. I got about an hour roughly till it gets dark now that it gets dark early, so half hour more fishing maybe, and then I've got to go set up camp, maybe fish the rest for dinner as well man that was it's got my blood pumping I've just messaged Taylor sent her the photo got connection all the way up the top of that cliff and uh, yeah she's stoked I'm stoked too that's the lure I was using just to show you guys in a bit better 70 millimeter not sure what it is Yeah, I can't read that. Whoa! Uh, mate, uh, seagull almost got me. Whoa! Right on the edge here! I think it's a salmon. That's what we're originally here for. <laughs> they come in now. Decent salmon, man. That's a good, that's decent salmon. Could eat that for dinner. No, I'm gonna keep going. I'll let him go in the water.
31. It's a good fish. That was right off the bank. I seen it come up and just whack it. That's a great lure. A great lure. All right, we're going to keep going. <laughs> Great lure. Every year, man, the lures just change. I've always got favourite lures because I know they work, and then as the double clutch didn't work, and these don't, so. Oh, mate, great fishing. Yeah. Nice little one. Oh, that's a Tommy. That could be dinner. Beautiful Tommy, way bigger than the other one. That was gonna be dinner, I reckon. Do you know what? Change plans. Ah, oh, come on, lad. Come on, lad. We'll let him go. I may have just noodles today. I feel generous. Gonna just uh, catch and release for now, I reckon. Because I know tomorrow I'm going to keep most of the things I can keep. And you got to look after the ocean, you know. No more fish since the last time I recorded. Or last time I caught a fish. Duh. I'm going to set up camp now. At least get that ready because we've probably got... What's the time? 4.40. I'd say about half hour to an hour max of at least light. So we'll get that done. Then we'll see how I feel. Might sit back a bit, relax, and maybe go for a fish for another 20 minutes and then I'll cook dinner. So, all right, might put you down. I'm gonna set up this tent. I reckon I'll stay in the tent tonight. It might rain, plus all the camera gear, fishing gear and all that, I can chuck it in there at least, so. We'll set that up and we'll set the swag in there. First, we've got to level this out a bit better and open up this tent, get this going. As soon as that sun starts setting, I'm gonna quickly cook up. So I'm gonna go for a fish real quick. <laughs> See if I can get anything. If not, then I'll come back up. And I'll bring you guys along if I hook onto something. Yo, let's do it. Cozy, I've just flattened out the sand. There's a nice spot there that you can, I can lay and then it dips off there, so lucky. Just got that nice little spot tucked away, dry, away from the water. Should be a good night. No wind at all. Should be a perla night. And then wake up tomorrow early. Get on the fish, hopefully. That's the fishing sh session done for now till tomorrow. I've just gone and um, so I ended up catching about five Tommies. Oh, there's dolphins out there. Can't really see on the GoPro, but two dolphins cruising around. Anyway. Off camera, caught about five Tommies here. Nothing really too impressive to show. So I've gone up and there's a nice ledge here I found earlier. So I th thought I'd fish it just down there. Perfect ledge for out here. Um, yeah, just hooked up to a big salmon. I ended up letting it go. Another Tommy down there as well. So plenty of Tommies here. Not much water left, that's enough for drinking or noodles for tomorrow. Probably put too much in there. But let's crank this. So they've been trying to sit outside in the sun all day, still soaked. Change of plans, we're gonna make a little fire. This burns so quick though, but burns hot. See if we can dry them up a little bit and then chuck them in the tent. Um, fingers crossed I can at least get them a little bit dry for tomorrow because I don't want to get blisters on the way out. While my shoes are drying back there, I was afraid there's a bit of smoke there but it's dark now so hopefully you can't see it because I do not need help. I'm pretty good right now. <laughs> Gonna finish this cup of coffee, uh, coffee, noodles. Wish I had coffee. But hey, that smells so good. I'll let this warm me up and then I might relax what, till it gets real dark. 
and then I'll hit the sack. Good morning. Day two. Check that out. Wake up for that. Oh, what a night. Tossing and turning. It wasn't the best night's sleep, but finally got it done. Time to wake up, pack up, and uh, let's get on this fishing. Get this done. Sweet. Man, what a way to wake up, eh? Check that out. Pristine fishing weather, that's for sure. It's calm as the tide is down, so. Like, check how low it is. I could run that back. And it'd be a lot safer for me, too. It won't have to get wet. So I'm hoping that I can get a few fish and within half an hour, an hour, before that tide comes up, then I can make a steam for it. But we'll see how we go. Tommy. Oh, that's salmon. Good sized salmon too, so we're keeping him. First fish of the morning, that second cast right there. Bleeding itself already. All right, let's get this unhooked, bleed. And we'll put him in the bag. Can't stay too long, because I'm only bagging these. What I'll keep, and then got to rush to the car, put him in the esky, so. We got a little Tommy here, I reckon. Good bait, like if I had a big rod, but. Since I know I'm going to get a couple of these, I might as well keep them, keep a few, so they're pretty big tommies, not a bad size. No luck so far really, only got legal salmon in the tommy, but it's kind of died off, the tide is on the way out still, it's getting even lower, so that could be it. So I've got everything packed up, basically. Tide's still going down further. I'll give it a few flicks, but I don't know if there's no fish around. It's gonna be a struggle. Thought I've just seen a squid. So yeah, we'll um, go for a flick after this for a bit. And then, Hit the road, I reckon. I'll probably record if I uh, uh, hook onto something. We'll see. We'll just finish this first. Alright, unfortunately that's going to be the end of the trip. But I'm grateful. Even though I've got to leave. I've decided, got to hit it back on the low tide. As you see, the beach is still there. Uh, I think it's on its way up now. So, I thought it would be smart just to get out of here now plus on the way back i could flick out this little lure just for a bit of fun because there's nothing nothing here but tommy's so i've cleaned up packed up i think that's just going to be the end of the video so thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up if you have subscribed join the family come on we're on the climb and um if you liked this video there's scenery there's just this adventure here I'm, I think I would like to come back. So if you want me to come back, I'm coming back. Come back anyway. I'll bring another rod as well. Get some big baits out there. Live ease maybe. Purchase some bigger lures. But other than that, till next time. I'll see you guys in the next video. So thank you so much again. And uh, adios.
Ciao. This is me.